And what are you what are you seeing from being out there, both of you? Uh, we moved out. We we're, we're back where we were before, uh, just to give you make sure you know we're in the same spot. Uh, what you're seeing is again behind Josh and I. We're seeing third, the, the third precinct on fire. The fire is still going very, very strongly now. Uh, that is the front foyer of the Minneapolis Police Department here on East Lake Street in Minnehaha. Across the street from that, you are seeing uh, the Minnehaha liquor that is on fire, and that is now fully engulfed, as well as it appears. The business that is next to it, uh, we know that there is a couple of stores down, a tobacco store as well. It looks like the fire is spreading. It is moving on uh, from building to building. And you're also seeing a lot of fireworks going on uh, over time here. And often folks, when they see the fireworks, they cheer. Uh, there is so much anger directed at the police that they are almost feels like taking it all out on the third precinct, on the building itself. The officers nowhere to be seen at this point in time. The officers are not here. We're not seeing police officers. Uh, we're not seeing fire uh, trucks. We're not seeing anything to stop the fire. Uh, if you have something to say, say it, but don't get in front of our cameras unless you want to talk to us. Um, there are folks here who are ginned up. Lots of folks here who are still feeling that pain and anger. They watch this video. There is a sign right in front of the police department that says justice for George. They are talking about George Floyd. They are talking about what they saw on the video of the officer with his knee on the neck of this man who literally was begging to breathe. He at one point begs for his mother. And I can't tell you how many people, particularly the community activists that live here, who have said to me with tears in their eyes, with, with their voices cracking, Hearing him beg for his mother, hearing him beg to breathe, mm. broke their hearts. Yep. And you are seeing that play out Me here, too. but now you are seeing almost an, a reaction from some folks that they cannot control their anger and they are taking it all out on the buildings around us, including the Target and the Aldi okay, and the other buildings here. Josh, Anarchy. you're not seeing any police. You've not seen any at all. When you look at this scene behind you, we actually had someone from this neighborhood ask for the National Guard to come in, an activist who said, I just Amazing. can't, I can't watch this happen to my community. Yeah, and we're not seeing any enforcement. That's one thing, one theme throughout the night that we've seen. And, you know, even Sarah and I standing this close to each other, it's hard to hear. We're surrounded by a couple thousand people here who have been protesting. If you look at the site behind us, again, you see the flames that continue uh, throughout this building. But you also see protesters outside trying to break their way inside. I'm going to take this off just a second here. Uh, but you can see people that are banging on windows. They've been throwing projectiles at the building. Thus far, we've seen no police officers come out. Certainly no crowd control officers. As we discussed earlier, Don, uh, that's a calculated decision by law enforcement officers. What's going on behind us uh, is a crime, trying to torch a government building. But they're making the decision right now that they're not going to try to inflame things even more than have already been done. They're not going to send in the right police. They're not going to send in others uh, to try to enforce this right now. The question remains about what the National Guard will be doing. We heard that they have been dispatched. We don't know if they're coming to this location or if there are other locations that they will then go try to secure. But that will be the question to watch is when you see government officers move in, especially people in uniform, what will the protesters do? We don't know the answer to that yet, Don. Are these folks